Okay. So my name is Solo. Uh, I'm a junior in Wharton, studying management and entrepreneurship. Yeah. And uh, I do photography. Um, I would say for these specific pieces today, what inspired my work was just the change of the seasons. Um, I was in Chicago at the time when I took these and it was just a long winter there. If anybody knows about the weather in Chicago, it's just, it's just really cold and windy all the time. So when I started to see flowers blooming, it gave me hope that warmth would be coming and that's just what I tried to capture in these photos. Yeah, I'll talk about this one. Um, so this was the first photo I took in my series of um, photos of flowers. I was doing like a photo series at the time um, and I sought to capture different flowers, each of different colors and you know, each different, a different type of flower. And this was one I saw in a flower bed in Chicago and it really caught my eye because it was a bright, beautiful yellow. Um, and you really don't see too many flowers like that, especially, you know, in, in a climate like Chicago. So I just really, I saw that and it reminded me of, you know, the change of the season, spring, um, the coming of summer, warm and beautiful weather. And it also reminded me of the sun, you know, it was a very bright and beautiful flower. So I just wanted to capture that um, with the photo. So I got up very close. I took it at a couple different angles and this is the one that spoke the most to me. So I decided to submit it and display it today. Uh, I would say I express myself through artwork by a lot of times by uh, capturing like bright colors because I often try to have my artwork express positive emotions. I want people to feel happy when they see my art. So I feel like a color is always a great way to, to use emotion <clears throat> and bright colors often evoke positive emotions. So at times when I'm feeling happy, I take photos that I think are, are pretty with bright colors, um, but also sometimes when there are deeper emotions in like a time of crisis or something like that, I do seek to take photos that may evoke those emotions as well. So I think for me, art is very emotional and that's just kind of how I try to depict and portray it. To me, black art is something that, you know, it's, it's really, it could be any type of art, you know, captured by a black artist, but beyond that, black art uh, seeks to capture, you know, I guess meaning within the community and like evoke the emotions of black people as a whole. Um, like, I oftentimes feel like we as black people go through life a little bit differently like we experience different things and we we feel like there's a lot of discrimination in the community and that we have to face and a lot of times black art seems to likes to confront those emotions and broadcast them um, and as well as highlight black culture and the positive things that black people are doing in the community so that's uh, those are some of the things that black art means to me and how, how it can speak to others. I express blackness through my work, uh, more so in my portraiture photos. Uh, I take photos of people sometimes, and generally my subjects are black men like myself. Um, I like to just try and capture their emotions through, through my art, um, and I just a lot of times I just try and capture them in their natural environment, whatever they happen to be doing, I don't really often ask them to pose or anything like that. I just want them to be natural so I can capture the essence of them and their blackness. Uh, I would say art's always been important in my life. Um, ever since I was young, I always really appreciated uh, bright colors. Um, and I would say I always liked beautiful things in the environment. So whenever I got the opportunity, I would try and 
take a take a little photo uh, and just capture a moment and capture a memory. Uh, that's another thing that I really appreciate photography for, its ability to capture a memory. Even when it seems to fade in your mind, uh, looking back at a photo can, can bring you back to that exact moment and those emotions that you were feeling. So I would say that's how art's important in my life. Uh, I would say art is important to the black community because art's always been a part of the black community. Whether we go, we can go as far back as time begins. Um, people were always seeking to to put down their emotions in some form or another to to show what they were experiencing, how they were feeling, whether it be where to get the the best food from during the hunt, or whether it be to showcase, you know, black music, whether like during during the jazz era. Um, I just feel like black art, um, how it speaks to the community is just a way to, you know, show emotion and show our experiences in, in a positive way, in a way that can speak to many, because um, art is also subjective, so you can take away what you want from it, and just giving the people that flexibility with our work is just, you know, it's part of what black art means and how it's uh, important to the community. Um, I would like to, people to take away a sense of joy when they see my happier works um, with the brighter colors. I would like them to look at it and be like, wow, that's, that's something that's really beautiful because a lot of the times, like in the two photos behind me, I, I like to take pictures of the natural world um, and just some of, the, some of its better uh, parts, um, whether that be the environment, flowers, you know, even sometimes, you know, city landscapes and things like that. I just want people to, to look at it and be like, wow, that's actually beautiful, and that's something I can see if I, if I take the time and go outside and look for that. I just want them to be able to find the beauty in the natural world because, you know, it exists.